The following video pertains to the Predator 3500 inverter series generator, the Power Horse 3500 inverter series generator, and the Air Echo Bearcat 3500 inverter series generator. All three of these generators are the same. The products that I'm going to be demonstrating and installing these on, the installation process is identical. The only difference, other than spelling of the name, is the fact that the Predator 3500 inverter series generator is red and it is available through Harbor Freight. Or, yeah, Harbor Freight. The Power Horse 3500 inverter series generator is blue in color and it's available through Northern Tool and Equipment. And the Echo Bearcat 3500 inverter series generator is available, I guess, from Echo Bearcat dealers and it is going to be bright orange or the uh, Echo Orange. I'm going to be demonstrating these next products and shooting the next video on the Predator 3500 series, which is red. But as I stated earlier, the procedure for the install and the operation is identical for all three generators. This is the Pinellas Power Products extended runtime fuel kit for the Predator 3500 watt inverter style generator. This kit will allow the Predator 3500 to run off of any size auxiliary tank you like, uh, from 3 gallon, 6 gallon, 12 gallon, 30 gallon, like what I'm going to use, all the way up to you know, hundreds of gallons if you prefer. Uh, my kit comes with everything except for the fuel tank itself, and the reason it does not include the fuel tank is because different customers are going to want a different size of fuel tank. So instead of making special arrangements to swap fuel tanks and so on, I sell it with everything but the tank itself. Uh, the operation of the system is very simple. Incidentally, my kit does include the quick disconnect fitting, which goes on the fuel tank side. The hose is a genuine Yamaha, and it has a genuine Yamaha quick disconnect fittings already fitted onto it. There is an arrow that indicates the direction of fuel flow. So the fuel flow is from the tank to the generator. So, we'll connect one end of it to the fuel tank, and then we're going to turn the fuel valve on. Then we're going to make sure that the uh, fuel tank vent is in open position. My Predator kit, the fuel inlet port, mounts in the recess area with the uh, recoil start handle. So if you do come by it real close, your knee might hit the recoil start, but it won't hit the sharp fuel disconnect. And hooking it on is pretty straightforward and simple. If you already own one of these Predator generators, you're familiar with it. It's got an off position, a run position, and a start position. And the start position is simply the ignition on and choke. The run position is the ignition on. We'll put the eco mode in standard run mode, which is off. This generator's been running earlier today, so I think it'll probably start without choke. At least that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, I'm not going to run it for very long because we are in an enclosed small room. I just want to show real quick. That's standard run. That's economy mode. Put it back to standard, and then I'll shut it off. My kit includes a fuel pump, the fuel pulse port, the PCB valve, everything that's needed inside the generator. Because of the fact that my kit is, uses a pump, it is not a gravity feed, the tank does not need to be higher than the generator, as you can clearly see the way I've got it laid out here. Uh, if you have any more questions or concerns or anything like that, please go to my website, pinellaspowerproducts.com. It will be listed in the comments section, or excuse me, it will be listed in the description section of this video. Thank you.